Well, Mark, on reflection for Saturday, was it just one of those days where the the plan doesn't quite go right, the execution doesn't quite go right, and then you come up against a team who are, are right on it? Just come up against a really good team, yeah, that were that were um, showed their quality and their strength throughout the game, and we couldn't contain them and didn't do well enough what we needed to do in the first half, and then they took they took control of the game and punished us. And then we had some spells in the game where we might have done better, moments where we may have been able to just turn it in our favour but didn't quite. Um, played well second half, probably definitely didn't deserve to lose the second half and, and probably deserve to win the second half, being, being fair. Um, but a good, um, a good lesson in, in respect of the, the level of the opponent was much higher than we've been playing recently. And I think they've shown with the quality of their squad and the depth of their squad with their performance level. So um, in a sort of strange way there were bits about the game that I quite enjoyed and when you watch it back you look at it as a game that you can definitely take quite a lot from and it's a good lesson for us to to see how we try and uh, continue developing to make sure we're competitive with the top teams because we're, we're at a different level at the moment fighting for different things um, but at the same time there was um, there were some things to be encouraged by and some things that we certainly got to do better because for all their good play um, certainly the early goals were preventable and, and easy moments to probably defend better than we did. Yeah, talking of the defending, and we discussed it in a bit of detail last week, do you have to keep in mind, therefore, I know you spoke after the game about the balance with having the right level of experience, particularly in central defence, and you made the change at, at half-time. Do you have to keep in mind just how lively and how, how good, basically, MK are in attack? Yeah, look, they're, they're a team that, um, that have a lot of the ball and have more than anyone. We took a fair share of the ball on Saturday, even in the first half, at 31% of the ball, I think, in the first half. And we had moments to make that better and to try and bring control because if you're in a defending phase for too long um, and don't maintain possession or keep yourselves on the ball in their half, it, it can become really difficult. So then you're defending against lots of forward runners, the biggest pitch in the league, uh, made bigger by the way in which they play, full width, full length. Um, and that gives you a real problem to try and defend against. It makes it hard to put pressure on the ball and then hard to defend against all the movement and rotation. They're very, very, very good at it. Um, and that's been a style that's been developed over time. And between different managers, they've sort of stayed the same way. I think they've got their strongest squad for a while as well. So they'll have a real chance of being right up there. Defensively for us, you know that's going to be a challenge. We've, we've done that well in certain games this year. And then there's other periods where we found it really difficult. And a few of the goals we've been conceding recently are, from our side, we think preventable. Um, and, and it's a tough, tough spell for us at the moment. We need Lloydie back fit as soon as we can get him, but we're not there at the moment. So we've got that option of playing Jack in there. He did it at Morecambe, did it at Plymouth second half, uh, and he did it second half on Saturday. Connor's had some really good performances this year. Jibs has had some really good performances this year. The challenge for them is just finding that as a consistent base and a consistent level, which is hard when you're a younger player and you haven't played this number of games. And in fairness for all of us, we, we're not used to this heavier schedule of game, game, game against this level of opposition. And the intensity that you've got to try and get to and the qualities that you've got to try and deal with is a challenge. And maybe at times those younger ones and less experienced ones need a senior person alongside them to really help them. Because if you're having a tough time, it's much easier to get through that with the, that bit of experience alongside you. So um, Jibs and Connor will both have plenty of games to play between now and whenever. Um, and they'll have to keep trying to do that. But, you know, we support each other and get each other through the game and made a change that we think could help us in the game on Saturday. We did better in the second half. Um, but just a learning game for lots of those players. And I think... You deal with the short-term bit of got to get results, got to be competitive. But we're also in the process of trying to make our players better and other teams' players better sometimes with loans, but developing those. And, and part of development is having tough days and getting through those as well. Tomorrow night, clearly a, a different sort of challenge and you've had a taste of what Northampton are all about with the original tie. Just to do the team news, presumably much as ahead of the original game, you didn't want to take any risks or rush Lloyd-Jones for that one. Charlo Tracy now, I guess, in the same boat as well. Yeah, we think we'll have the same squad as, uh, as Saturday that was available. So we'll just check on a couple this morning. Jack Iredell, um took a few whacks on Saturday, so we need to see him this morning. George Williams... Um, had his head stitched but was fine concussion wise and things like that so we just need to check him this morning make sure he's alright uh, otherwise we expect it to be pretty much the same group of players and, I, and as you say we're playing against a team that we've played very recently uh, both in really good form going into the game last time and, and the game couldn't separate us and now we go into a replay both off the back of disappointing results Saturday um, 
but I think both determined to get into the next round of the, of the cup. So it'll be a, an interesting game. Cup football can throw up different types of games sometimes. We've got to find a good level because we want to be in the next round. Yeah, the big positive from the original tie, we know that clean sheets have been the calling card for Northampton this season, keeping goals out. And you did get the, the two goals against them. We did both set plays that we worked well, actually. We looked a threat on the day of those, and they're a good side themselves, set play-wise. So we know there'll be elements of that in the game. We had some good moments in open play as well throughout the game, and, and we've got to make sure that we find enough moments in open play and enough situations where we can create good chances when the game's open. Um, so that's a challenge for us tomorrow, making sure that we have that attacking threat and intent. But Northampton make you defend, and, and they make you be aggressive, and we're going to have to do all of that tomorrow really well. Yeah, you mentioned after the original tie that at times it got too frantic. Are you looking for, for more control with the game Tuesday night or is it a case of just dealing with the, the franticness better? Yeah, a little bit deal with the frantic bit and bring control when it is frantic, but trying to stop the game being open. I think the way that game came was um, two teams trying to win it and and the game became very open, quite an interesting spectacle for those watching it, but not so much when you're on the side of it and you want it to be a bit more controlled. I think both coaches would say they'd rather have a bit more control of the game and feel a little bit more in it. That game could have gone anyway. Um, so, yes, there's an element of that, but there is an element of it's cut football. Um, draws are no good. You've got to try and win the game and get through. Um, we want it to be... We want it to be us as the winning team and we want to do it in 90 minutes. So that's um, that's the intent that we have to go with, that attacking intent, but with a good organisation to deal with what they um, they throw our way and not let it be too stretched and too open a game. Just a final one on team news. Is there a chance for Jack Lancaster to be involved tomorrow night or is that too soon? No, no, Jack's, um, Jack's training today. He'll be involved tomorrow night, yeah. Cool, that's great for me. Hi, Mark. Um, firstly, on the, the team, uh, the way you're planning to approach the game tomorrow night, due to the relentless nature of the, the schedule, do you, do you have to make changes for a, a cup game like this? We don't have to, but I think if we look to our um, probably last month, I don't think we've played the same team in consecutive games yet. I think we've probably made two or three changes every game. Um, so it'll probably be in line with that similar kind of process. One, because sometimes you need to. Uh, through injury or suspension and sometimes just because you want the freshness not only in this game but with the games that we've got coming up in the next few weeks we obviously play consecutive Tuesdays again for a few weeks so yeah it's likely that we'll make some changes to the team to try and give us a freshness and an energy and to just look after everybody when we're in a, a small squad as we are and we've got a few issues with boys that are out for multiple games, you become probably over-reliant on some of the players and we have to try and look after a few and make sure that we um, keep as many fit as we can for the run of games that we've got coming up. So we'll certainly make a couple of changes going into tomorrow. How important is it as well to, to target defensive improvement for this one, given uh, the first half on Saturday and, and the first game against Northampton as well? Well, I think with our success really over 18 months has been built off a really solid base and a, and a structure around us that makes us hard to beat. But we know we've had some horrible days in there as well and some bad days. I think that's just the course of a season. So, yeah, obviously we want to be better in terms of um, chance creation on our goal and goals conceded. That's a, obvious we have to if we want to win games. But at the same time, we need to make sure we've got an attacking threat about us as well. And we don't just play a defensive type of game. So, um, yeah, we, we've got to improve in all areas because if we're better with the ball, we have less of a threat on our goal uh, and so on. So, yeah, a, a little bit of everything for us tomorrow. Just a question on um, Leon Davies as well. He's, um, his, his contract's up in, in six weeks' time, isn't it? Are you going to be offering him a new deal? Well, I'm definitely not going to talk about his contract situation to, to yourselves before we've had any conversations with him. So um, Leon's training, playing a little bit, obviously played against Stevenage, available for selection. So we'll see how the next few weeks plays out and then we'll have a discussion with him in due course. Yeah, when, when do you expect to to finalise that one way or another. When we're ready. Okay, thanks Mark.